neuropsychiatric symptoms are among the most common presenting signs of vitamin B12 deficiency. Yet, the diagnosis is often missed because of a need for more awareness of this condition among clinicians. In this two-part video series, we briefly overview the importance of vitamin B12 for brain health, and the neuropsychiatric symptoms that may occur in vitamin B12 deficient patients, including dementia. In addition, neuropsychiatric disturbances frequently occur in vitamin B12 deficient patients without anemia or macrocytosis, enlarged red blood cells, which is considered the classic symptoms of B12 deficiency. More recently, researchers have described the neuropsychiatric symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency, including confusion, stupor, apathy, memory and judgment disorders, psychosis, depression, anxiety, and dementia. Other researchers have listed, psychosis, with reported symptoms including suspiciousness, persecutory or religious delusions, auditory and visual hallucinations, incoherent speech, and disorganized thought process, depression, mania, cognitive impairment and delirium. Neuropsychiatric symptoms are among the earliest clinical signs of vitamin B12 deficiency. For this reason, such symptoms should alert clinicians to the possibility of vitamin B12 deficiency. If diagnosed soon enough, these conditions are treatable, and the symptoms reversible, as seen in the literature. Case in point, a patient with dermatitis, was referred to a dermatologist. He also complained of foot pain and had neuropsychiatric symptoms, including long-standing depression, psychosis, hallucinations, and fatigue due to lack of sleep. His condition meant he was at risk of losing his wife and family. Still, the treatment given did not solve the problems. Because of these symptoms and his mother's past and present treatment with vitamin B12, a B12 deficiency was suspected by a family physician. Tests indicated B12 deficiency with a level of 145 nanograms slash L. He was started on vitamin B12 treatment therapy, and all his symptoms, including dermatitis, foot pain, and neuropsychiatric problems disappeared within a few weeks. Vitamin B12 deficiency can cause brain dysfunction and structural damage, causing neuropsychiatric symptoms via multiple pathways. In addition, B12 deficiency may also cause a folate deficiency because B12 is required to get folate into the cells and keep it there. The medical textbook Harrison's Principles of Internal Medicine, 2018, states, psychiatric disturbance, is common in both folate and B12 deficiencies. This, like neuropathy, has been attributed to a failure of the synthesis of SAMe, S-adenosyl methionine, which is needed for the methylation of biogenic amines, for example, serotonin and dopamine, as well as other neurotransmitters in the brain. Associations between low folate or B12 levels, higher homocysteine levels, and the development of decreased cognitive function and dementia in Alzheimer's, have been reported. Vitamin B12 deficiency is believed to cause demyelination, damage to the protective nerve coating of nerves. Vitamin B12 is required to facilitate the natural remyelination of nerves during the regular cycle of bodily repair, repairing this protective coating on an ongoing basis. In addition, demyelination may be related to a deficiency of SAMe, which is necessary for the methylation of myelin, which is a direct result of B12 deficiency, causing abnormal synthesis of myelin. The effect of B vitamins, including B12, on the human brain is exceptionally high compared with amounts in the rest of the body. Therefore, a B12 deficiency is likely to have a powerful impact on the brain, which controls mood and cognitive abilities. Researchers from the US and Switzerland have found that some disorders, such as age-related cognitive and memory decline, autism and schizophrenia, could be linked to poor uptake of vitamin B12 from the blood to the brain. Further support for the effect of B vitamins on psychiatric behavior, is given in research by a team from the University of Manchester, which showed that high doses, compared with low doses of vitamins B6, B12, and biotin, B7, significantly reduce the symptoms of schizophrenia. The neuropsychiatric symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency fall into different categories, which may reflect the various functions of vitamin B12 in the human body. For example, vitamin B12 is needed in both the central nervous system, CNS, and peripheral nervous system, PNS, for the correct formation of the myelin sheath, which insulates each nerve and ensures it sends its signal to the next neuron without leaking the signal to a nearby nerve. In the CNS, brain and spinal cord, symptoms that can be triggered by vitamin B12 deficiency include migraine and tension headaches, 
dizziness and confusion, memory disturbance slash forgetfulness, fogginess, psychosis, hallucinations, and delusion, including schizophrenia. Another group of symptoms relates to depression and anxiety. These are almost opposites regarding how a person feels. One induces a feeling of disconnectedness and low energy. The other makes a person feel uncomfortably alert with heightened energy, but fatigue. Patients may also experience panic attacks, mood swings, and mental slowness. One cause of depression is thought to be a high homocysteine level due to a B12 deficiency. Homocysteine accumulates in the absence of vitamin B12 because B12 is required to convert homocysteine to methionine. Other neuropsychiatric effects of vitamin B12 deficiency include irritability and disturbed sleep. One of the first changes that patients, partners and families notice following vitamin B12 replacement therapy is that these symptoms reduce sometimes within hours of the first injection of the loading dose. When determining the cause of psychiatric symptoms, the physician should consider whether there are any apparent triggers or situations such as recent trauma, grief, or stress. If no apparent reason is present, then a physician should consider looking at diet and, in particular, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, as well as ingestion of psychoactive compounds. People on lifelong vitamin B12 replacement therapy for neuropsychiatric conditions, who stop the treatment themselves, perhaps because they think they are cured, will start to exhibit behaviors that could be considered a psychotic risk to themselves and others. This is due to evidence that behavioral changes may be associated with the withdrawal of B12, as this vitamin is vital for the proper functioning of the nervous system, including the brain. Resuming treatment, and where they are successful in many cases, the patient continues their independent living and enjoyment of life. People exhibiting psychosis with no evident psychotropic drug ingestion should be checked for vitamin B12 deficiency and treated accordingly. This is especially important where they have recently had vitamin B12 replacement therapy withdrawn. In summary, vitamin B12 deficiency is associated with various neuropsychiatric symptoms, including dementia, and is often overlooked by clinicians. These symptoms can manifest even in the absence of anemia or macrocytosis. Research highlights the multiple pathways through which B12 deficiency can cause brain dysfunction and structural damage, leading to confusion, psychosis, depression, anxiety, and memory disorders. This makes early diagnosis and treatment of B12 deficiency critical, as symptoms are usually reversible. The deficiency may result in demyelination of nerves and can contribute to functional folate deficiency and elevated homocysteine levels, leading to more metabolic pathways being interrupted. Recognizing B12 deficiency as a significant risk factor of neuropsychiatric symptoms can lead to timely intervention and improved patient outcomes. Thanks for watching.